Well, Wednesday morning blessings, y'all. Wednesday morning blessings. There is a higher, there is a higher power. There is a higher power. Call upon that higher power. There is a God that loves us unconditionally. There is a God that loves us just the way we are. There is a God that loves us and he keeps us before we go too far. There is a God who is up on the mountain. There is a God that can give you ever loving drinking from his fountain. There is a God who owns our beloved souls. There is a God that tells us he loves us so. Who we? Happy Wednesday, blessed Wednesday. You know, I got up this morning and I'm going to tell you the truth what I did this morning. Um, <laughs> let's get real. I cleaned out my refrigerator and my freezer. And uh, by the grace of God, I was laying there last night like, oh, Lord, give me strength to get up and do it. Because like I said, I'm OCD, so I like to keep things neat and tidy. And I said, oh, I don't want to do the refrigerator and the freezer. And I said, I need you, Lord. <laughs> and I got up. <laughs> <laughs> and before I had finished, now by the way, first of all, my mom sent me a message. She was like, good morning, it's happy coffee day. I said, what? Let me get started, mama. Now that's the kind of mama I got. Good morning, dear. I love you. Have a blessed day. It's national coffee day. <laughs> and she know my daughter love coffee. But then she just told me, then don't drink all that coffee. It mess your kidneys up. <laughs> I'm like, Mama, how you going to tell me all this caffeine? I'm drinking tea cups a day of coffee that I love going to mess my candy kidneys up. And then you're going to get me up on a Wednesday morning time. I good morning, dear. I love you. Today's National Coffee Day. So, <laughs> that's the kind of wonderful mom I got. All right, y'all. All jokes aside, it's a good day. It's a blessed day. It's a wonderful day. And we got to say it every day to God get us up. And now we're back to that refrigerator thing, that freezer. I was laying there praying last night. I was like, Lord, help me get them to do it. Now, that's what you do when you get a little bit older. You be like, Lord, just let me get my refrigerator cleaned out. That kind of stuff. But anyways, on a serious note, I got up and by the grace of God, did what I needed to do with my refrigerator and freezer. But you know what? God um, put a special blessing on me, a special word. And basically, um, every day that God get us up, I got to say it every day. We got to first of all tell the Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for just who you are. Before my feet even hit that floor, I'd be like, thank you, God. God, when he wake me up, and I'm going to tell you the truth, there was a time where I would say, I don't want to wake up. And I don't care who got something to say. I don't care. I'm going to be a living witness and testimony. And I, there was a time when I used to say, Lord, I don't want to wake up. When I lay down at night, <laughs> hey, you be carrying me on up into the gates of heaven. But God gave me a new song in my heart, y'all. I'm going to tell you, when God woke me up this morning, it was very tranquil, very peaceful. And um, I said, okay, God. And he said, get up. Don't turn no news on. So I recited my normal scriptures that I say, you know, which is like Psalms 91, the prayer of protection. Praise the Lord. I said everything I know to say before my feet hit that floor. And then God said, before you turn that news on, you know, Let's do business. Let's do business. And we did business. I turn that lamp on and normally when I turn that light on in my room, you know, it'd be like dark and I don't even want to turn the light on. So I try to sneak and turn the news on. And then later on when everybody else is up, then I turn the light on. But I'm out of that now. I got up and by the grace of God, went on turn that light on. Do you get it? 
I turned that light on. And by the grace of God, uh, I did that scripture. I was blessed. I felt the presence of the Lord. And you know what I want to tell you? Life is too short for craziness. Um, when you go through some things in your life, you realize living in a world of craziness and drama and all that, that is not life and love. That is not heaven. So you can't expect to live in heaven if you're not living a life of peace on earth. And, and, and it's in the scripture too that God will give you heavenly peace before you even get to heaven. But it's all about what you want to accept. And I'm learning for myself. I used to say, oh Lord, I won't get peace until I get to heaven. That's not true. God gives us heavenly peace on earth. It's what we choose to do and how we choose to live and how we choose to respond. And I want to tell you, fill your life up with beautiful things. Things that manifest the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. The things that are of the Lord. You hear me? The things that are of the Lord. Which give you joy, peace, and essence of living. Not those things that cause you pain. And havoc. And stress. God is such a good God. That he has given us his Holy Spirit. Within us. And any time the Holy Spirit lives within us, there's nothing but peace, joy, love, and discernment. But we have to want it. You have to receive it. You have to choose it. When you wake up, it's like, what do I want to eat this morning? Do you want to eat of the Lord? Or do you want to eat of the dark side? You choose. God gives us a choice. You choose. God gives us to He gives it to us supernaturally. You choose the life that you want to live for the day. Yes, there will be things that will happen that are of the Lord, but He still gives you a spirit of discernment to get up and say, Today I choose to live this life. And whatever God gives you during today or any other day. That is of the Lord, but once you choose the Lord, He will bring you strongly through anything that He gives you for that day. Any minute or hour of that day, seen or unseen. Once you choose the Lord and to live by His word and His testimony, you don't have to worry. Anything that comes your way that day, God is there with you. He has gone before you. All right, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. Blessings. Choose God. Choose living. Choose life. Everlasting life. Not the things of this world, but the things of the Lord. All right, y'all. Have a great, blessed, wonderful day and be blessed.